Just Cause 3 is on the way, and we recently got to play a chunk of open world chaos from the game. So what's new? Here are the five treats that caught our eye. Rico's grappling hook is back, but now he can use it to hook two objects together, then increase the tension of the line to slam them into each other. It sounds simple, but it leads to some incredible inventive fun. I spent a good half hour at a busy traffic intersection tethering cars together, then smashing them into each other, and also occasionally launching them into the sky because physics. I also tethered the saluting hand of a Di Ravello statue to his hat, then made him facepalm his own head off. This is going to be YouTube gold, basically. Just Cause 3 is really keen for you to be constantly exploding things. To this end, Rico now has an infinite supply of plastic explosive. He's only limited in how many he can place at one time, an ability which is upgradable as you level up. Never again will you drive past a building that needs exploding and have to make a mental note to come back and do it later when you've stocked up. That thing is coming down, stat. As you play through Just Cause 3 and unlock new vehicles and weapons, you also unlock what are known as Rebel Drops. With these, you can put together a selection of weapons and vehicles from a menu, then get it airdropped in a shipping crate to your location, complete with a small fireworks display. The best thing about this, though, is that you can get vehicles delivered wherever you want. Make mine a bus on top of a high-rise building, please. The wingsuit is also new for Just Cause 3. It takes some getting used to, but once you've got the hang of the wingsuit, you can combine it with the grappling hook and parachute into a kind of combo traversal where you glide on the wingsuit, reel yourself in with the grappling hook, and then gain altitude with the parachute. Once it clicks, you can glide around the islands of the game more or less indefinitely, which is awesomely liberating. The Just Cause 3 developers are also keen for Rico to have even more scope for ridiculous stunts than ever before. Just because he's got a ruthless dictator to overthrow doesn't mean he isn't going to take time to do the kind of ridiculous stunt work that would make even Jackie Chan think twice. Get out of a plane and walk around on the wings, jump onto the roof of a car as it ramps towards an exploding enemy base, parachute out of a crashing plane that you're using as a battering ram, draw rude things in a sunflower field with a sports car. Okay, that one's less spectacular, but come on, you're going to. Those were five new things in Just Cause 3 that grabbed our attention. What do you want from the game? Let us know in the comments and like and subscribe for more Just Cause 3 from outside Xbox soon. Thanks for watching.